Yes, I've um, been a student at Central for about five years now, since seventh grade, and uh, just recently became a United States citizen, uh, in part just because I had a desire to, and in part it was to fulfill a condition to be able to attend the Naval Academy. Once uh, we realized that the Naval Academy could potentially be a really good fit for Luis, and after I had pushed him and pushed him and pushed him to get the nomination applications and all of that into the congressman in, in, in Iowa, um, he brought it to my attention that he is not a U.S. citizen, and so we knew that we needed to, to expedite that process if he was going to have any hope of getting admitted to the Naval Academy. Um, so through an alumni of Central Academy who has been extremely gracious and helped us with this whole process, we were able to expedite that process, and just last week he was um, able to become a U.S. citizen, which was pretty amazing. Uh, Ms. Hilton, she's been more or less the one supporting me and kind of helping me through this entire process. So she uh, was the one that initially got me into contact with a lawyer at the Davis Brown Law Firm. And, and she was the one that more or less started the application and helped me through the entire progress or process. And in addition to that, the staff at the Central Academy, all the teachers have been very, uh, very supportive. They were, they covered the cost of the application, which is uh, quite nice of them. And they've been more or less very happy to know that I have become a citizen. I just saw the potential. There's an incredible potential in that kid. Um, I think that in several years, whether he goes to the Naval Academy or whether he goes to one of the other several schools that he applied to, you're going to hear his name down the road someday, I guarantee you. Um, he's going to do something pretty spectacular. For me, Central is more or less offered an outlet to be able to follow what interests me. So. May that be just JRTC and trying to develop my leadership skills and just my communication skills in general or going to Central Academy and being able to pursue higher level academics, be that in math, science, social studies, English, or whatnot. Uh, that's kind of given me all those opportunities. In addition to that, it's put me into contact and put me in a really good position to apply to a number of colleges, get accepted, and know that I'm prepared for college. It was a whirlwind, and it happened really, really fast, and it has opened my eyes to the fact that um, every year we have more and more students that have never gone through this process before. Um, it comes to light when we start looking at college applications that we have more and more kids that are not here legally. Um, that do not know how to navigate those waters. And what it has really taught me is I need to try to identify these issues much earlier than the fall of their senior year of high school so we can take the steps we need to, to take in order to make this process easier for them. We all know that, like, you know, the basis of this country is that it's very diverse, yet yeah, they're trying to kind of ignore that. Like, you know, sometimes people ignore that and try to make it seem something that's not. And I, I think that America is very diverse. And if you try to say that it isn't, it's kind of like saying, it's kind of like going against what America stands for.